How's it going everybody? My name is Liam, it's my sister Emma again. And boy, I am so stoked to be out here right now. I'm at Georgian Bay Islands National Park. For anybody curious, I'm camping on Canadian Shield Rock right here. This rock is three billion years old. Some of the oldest rock you can find in the world that we have around here. And I'm right here on the Georgian Bay, right over there. You can see it through the trees. We're just sitting under the shade right now because our actual site has no shade. So we've kind of just placed our chairs here. Uh, we're spending two nights here. We're gonna be doing some amazing camping. So make sure you stay tuned. One other thing I forgot to mention, I'm currently on an island. For anybody that also doesn't know, the Georgia Bay has 30,000 islands. Some of the most islands of anywhere in the world. So what is the plan today? I'm gonna take a dip in the water. Uh, there's a little rock island I wanna swim to. So I'm gonna just go swim over there. I think that'll be a lot of fun. What do you think? So yeah, we got a lot of plans and uh, we're just gonna make the best of this amazing opportunity that we have. So that rock over there, that little island that you see, I'm gonna swim there. The, the bay isn't too cold i actually looked at the the sea temperatures for everywhere around here and the hottest part of the georgian bay is where i am so that was pretty pretty nice to see i think it's about 70 degrees today fahrenheit so not too bad Time to get in here. We're gonna give the water a feel. So the ground is a little slippery. So I do have to be extremely careful getting in. It's the safest way to get in. Okay, I'm not sure how this filming is. I'm filming it really awkwardly in a bag, but I've technically crossed my first island, even though it's like, you know four meters off the shore but it's technically an island because it is surrounded by water and that is the definition of how an island works i think wow an amazing island so if you guys can see those two in the distance that's where i'm going those are, actually there's, that one's kind of connected but kind, kind of three but we're gonna be going to all those there's some canadian geese over there they're not gonna like us when we visit all right this is my attempt of swimming while the phone is underwater. Apologies if the camera is extremely shaky. That's so gross. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so I was swimming and suddenly I just hit a rock. So we're currently sitting on a rock in the middle of the bay. And um, this island right there, another island right there, and one island a little bit further. We're gonna hit all three and then turn around. This is so amazing. I've never done something like this before. Okay, here goes the struggle of getting on. It is so slippery right here, and we're gonna try and get on. Look at the struggle we're having to get on here. Island number two, this one's in the middle of the one we were just at and the one we're headed towards. 
Uh, we're not spending too much time at this one because if you guys take a close look, um, the geese kind of already beat us to this island. So uh, we're not gonna spend too much time here. We're gonna get off right here and swim to the last island. Hopefully not disturb the geese if they're still there. I actually can't tell because I wear glasses and I, I really can't see right now. <laughs> um, so we're gonna make our way there. I promise you guys, I do not look stupid right now. We do not look stupid. Just making our way to an island. Yeah, this is, I think this is the coolest island out of the three that we went to. First one was really nice. Second one kind of sucked. This one is cool because it's got like its own pond. People have built a nook strips on it, which is kind of cool. And then as well as we have this very fascinating tree right here. But yeah, I love this island. This is very, it's a very unique experience. You know, swimming to an island in the middle of a, you know, giant bay. Pretty cool. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, yeah. We're close. Yeah, we're getting there. This is awesome. It's a lot of fun. I made it. I survived. If you guys ever need somebody to survive on an island with you, with no supplies, I'm your guy. I am your guy. I swam all the way to those islands and back. I might just be the greatest the greatest to ever do it. I'm not gonna lie to you, the only reason it wasn't easy is because of how slippery this rock is. It's worse than a skating rink, and obviously skating rinks are pretty, pretty slippery, but this is worse. I've never been on something so slippery. Um, you literally cannot take a step without slipping. So I was kind of crawling every time I was trying to get onto shore or get off shore. Crawling kind of looked stupid, but that's what you gotta do. That was awesome though. Something I've never done before. Very, very cool experience. Something you don't get to do every day. And I did it. Awesome. So, gonna get dressed. And we're just gonna relax for the rest of the evening. The sky's not looking the greatest. Might be storming. Hopefully not. Tomorrow's gonna be beautiful. And awesome. Let's go back to the campsite. In the tent, there's the view. Wake up two in the morning. I set up kind of awkwardly. Uh, I had to set the rain fly up because it did rain for about 10 minutes. It was kind of weird, but I don't think it's gonna rain anymore and I think we're clear now. Sunset's just wrapping up. The trees are beautiful here. Way to get in the tent now and get ready to go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. See you all in the morning. morning everybody uh, that animal you just saw in the water that was actually a beaver and I've actually never seen a beaver in person before so right there was the first time I've ever seen a beaver which is surprising because it's our national animal but that's my first time ever seeing a beaver before so that's pretty random so as you all can see sunrise is amazing this morning can't get enough of this the only thing I'm worried about is getting jumped by the geese because they were all giving me that look so I was a little worried but we got through Saw the beaver, sunrise, you can't ask for any more than that.
just about to get out of here. Just doing the last final touches. And um, pretty soon we're gonna be getting picked up by the boat and we're back to mainland. About 20 minutes, we're getting picked up by the boat. It's been a great, great trip. I've had a blast here. Just like that, another camping trip down. This one was easily one of my favorites. Campsite here was amazing. The view, it's perfect. Uh, you can't ask for much more around here. So, I hope you guys liked what you saw for the camping. If you did, I'm doing another video for the hiking because I did a crazy hike when I was here. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you see it when it's out. Or if it's already up, make sure you go watch it right now. And that's really all I have to say. Georgian Bay Islands National Park, it's a pretty cool place. Uh, make sure you stay in the great outdoors. Make sure you subscribe. It helps me out, it helps the growth of this channel, and helps us be able to do crazier things in the future. Leave a like, every bit of support I appreciate. Till the next camping trip, see you guys later.